Welcome to Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today we'll be covering ArcGIS Pro, importing and spatializing from an Excel spreadsheet. Let's get started. Our first Excel spreadsheet, notice how it's as delivered with spaces and special characters. We've got area codes and latitude and longitudes in WGS84. Now when we go to import that, ArcGIS Pro isn't going to like those special characters or those spaces. So on the right here, I have a spreadsheet ready, and we're going to go ahead and use this one for formatting. Notice how there's no spaces or special characters. Now that we're in Pro, we're going to go ahead and import our table by navigating over to the catalog pane. We're going to go ahead and use the default database inside this project. But you can use any geodatabase that you have connected. Go ahead and select Import, and we're going to click Table. Now that this window has propped up our geoprocessing table to table, we're going to open and browse to where our folder is located. Here you can see my spreadsheets, and I'm going to go ahead and use the to import. It helps to name what you're going to be importing, something that you'll know to differentiate from your as delivered. Now we're going to go ahead and select the sheet. Then I'm going to go ahead and give it an output name. You'll see after running, the table will stand over here in the contents pane. Now I'm going to show you how to navigate the data ribbon. Notice up here that I've clicked on the table, and the standalone table is now highlighted here, and it says data. This is the data ribbon. From here, you can find things like fields, which is what we're going to use today. We're going to go ahead and add some field alias. Notice here that my field name is all in caps but I might want it to display a little differently. And that's gonna help us when we're also using our pop-ups. Adding an alias is as simple as double clicking and then replacing that information. Just don't forget to save button here right at the top. Now that we've added our aliases and saved, we're gonna navigate back up here to the data ribbon and we can open our attribute table here. Another way to open an attribute table is to right click from the contents pane and then select open. Now let's go ahead and spatialize that table. We're over here in this data tab. We can now navigate over to the analysis tab. Here, we can go ahead and select tools. Notice the geoprocessing window has just popped up or essentially a tab inside of our catalog pane. So we had our catalog pane and then the geoprocessing pane popped up. Now I don't know if you recall, but when we were running the import table, the geoprocessing tab was also up. From here, we can easily just type X and find the geoprocessing tool we're looking for, XY table to point. We're gonna click and then input which table we're gonna be using. Since we imported it into our database and it's here in our contents pane, you'll see it in the dropdown. I'm gonna verify my coordinate system and I'm gonna go ahead and accept the default name for the feature class and click run. Now we can go over here to configure our pop-up, and while we're at it, we might as well edit the name. Now let's select somewhere in Southern California. Looking at this pop-up, you'll notice a few things. For one, we don't see our field aliasing that we did in our table, and that's because we've made a new feature. So we'll go ahead and have to repeat that step. But you'll also notice that area code is repeated twice. Once up here in the title, just below the name of the layer, and then down here, in the fields display area. So let's go ahead and edit the fields we see, as well as the title, and then we can quickly go back and change our field aliasing. So up here is a title area. All I need to do is click, and then I can easily add some text. Now that I've entered my text, I'll click on this arrow and go to fields. Now I'll click on the pencil and make sure that we've unchecked object ID and the duplicated area code. Click you'll also notice that I've already gone ahead and adjusted my field aliases. And that's right up here in the data ribbon, in case you've forgotten. And you'll select fields and then save. You can also do things like add an image or even a chart. Let's revisit Southern California and see how our pop-up is. Here's our title, perfect. Latitude, longitude. I think this is a great stopping point. This has been Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes.
Thank you for watching, and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that bell.